Hi everybody, it's time for your Farm and Ranch news. Well, if you haven't already filled out and returned your Census of Agriculture, there's still time to do so. Roger Ott is the USDA's NAS Mountain Regional Field Office Director and says that they're still looking for responses from farmers and ranchers from across our region. That's correct. We still are looking for responses from farmers and ranchers in our region. Every response is important, and this is farmers and ranchers' opportunity to tell their story about their operation and about U.S. agriculture, especially now after going through a pandemic the last several years and what's happening with the economy and inflation and the impact of increasing input prices for fuel, fertilizer feed, and everything else. It's important that farmers and ranchers are able to provide that information that lets the public know what's really happening in rural America. He says the data collected is very important to decision makers who work on important legislation and programs for rural America, like the Farm Bill. Congress is going to be working on a Farm Bill, and this is important information that they're looking for and waiting for uh, to have available for their use in, in looking at different programs. Um, we're already getting questions now. How soon that is that data from the census going to be available? So there's people waiting for it and, and really relying on that information. And he says that the Census of Agriculture is the only source of uniform, comprehensive, and impartial agriculture data for every county in America, which is over 3,000 counties nationwide. We provide that information at the county and state level. We also end up doing some follow-on surveys uh, in the coming years that kind of dig in deeper to some particular topics like irrigation and organics and, and some additional surveys. Again, if you haven't done so already, please fill out your Census of Agriculture and send that data back in. This is your chance to be represented in the agriculture data so that USDA can better administer its farm and ranch programs. That's a look at your farm and ranch news. Have a great day.